Well, what a day Saturday was for rugby fans. The British and Irish Lions had their first game of the 2021 tour and Harlequins won the Gallagher Premiership for the first time in nine years, beating Exeter by 40 points to 38. Harlequins have been fantastic this season, debatably playing the best rugby, and this final certainly echoed that. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thanks to everyone who subscribed. We've actually reached 100 subscribers now, so that's absolutely brilliant. If we can keep that going and on the road to 1,000, I mean, that would just be great. So thanks once again, and if you haven't subscribed, then just go down and hit that subscribe button. Thanks, everyone. Exeter were very unlucky, I must say. They also had a great season, finishing second in the Premiership and having one of their players break the individual try-scoring record for a single season in Sam Simmons. However, it was not meant to be, and Harlequins took full advantage of this. With Quinns winning the Gallagher Premiership, it means that they became the first team since Saracens six years ago to finish fourth after the regular season and be crowned champions. We must remember that their head of rugby, Paul Gustard, departed with the club in January, so what an astonishing turnaround for fan favourites Nick Evans, Adam Jones and Jerry Flannery. The pictures and scenes from their technical area throughout this journey have been a sight to see and even more satisfying now they've won. So let's look at the try scorers of both teams, as there were certainly a lot of them. So for Exeter, Johnny Gray, Alec Hepburn, Sam Simmons, of course, Ollie Devoto and Stuart Hogg all scored tries for Exeter, with Joe Simmons kicking five conversions. On any other day, Exeter would have stormed this game with all of those points. However, Quinns would not lie down. An early penalty try was followed by Liners double and scores also from Wilco Lowe, Alex Dombrandt, Andre Esterhazen and Marcus Smith landing four conversions. There was also a man of the match performance by a Quinns player, Joe Marler, who backed up his impressive semi-final performance with another great game in the final. He also provided more entertainment of course, as he frequently does, in the post-match interview. Quinn star Alex Dombrandt came out after the match and said that the belief in the squad is sky high and that a lot of people outside the squad doubted them and didn't give Quinns a chance. Quinns were doubted due to the f their free-flowing game, which would be nullified by Exeter's championship mentality. However, like Don Brandt says in, in his interview, whoever scores the most points wins the game, and Quinns back themselves to outscore anyone. A very interesting mentality from the Quinns side. Normally, in finals, it's very cagey and there's more kicking for goal and tactical kicking in play. But the Quinn's DNA seems to be just the opposite and outscore the opposition. And they've certainly delivered some outstanding rugby this year. So fair play to Harlequins and a much deserved Premiership title.